Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be teaching you the secrets to playing the song Milk Crates by Pigeon Pits, one of my favorite folk punk songs ever. Um, first off, we're going to be in standard tuning. Uh, the chord shapes you will need are going to be a C and a weird F. It's not, it's not quite this F and it's not a bar F, but it's sort of a weird combination of the two where you're going to um, you're going to have your B string on the first fret. Your middle finger is open. There's not anything there. And then on the D and A string, you're going to be on the third fret. So it looks like that. It's a really nice open sounding chord. And then the third chord you're going to need is just a standard G chord. So the way that Loams actually plays this song and the way she plays a lot of her songs is actually with the capo on the fifth fret. So if you're trying to sound like the album, that's where you should be playing it. However, that's not where my voice sings it well. And this is something that I wish people had told me when I first started playing guitar and first trying to cover songs. Just put the capo where it feels comfortable for you to sing. It'll be better for you in the long run. It'll help you figure out where your range is. So you could just put it wherever you need it. For me, in general, that's um, going to be open in C. So that's where I'm going to play it. All right, so let's just dive into it. So the main riff is just going to start out with some palm muting on that C chord. Um, Loves does this a lot. She's kind of always palm muting a little bit, playing certain strings, playing not. That's one of those things where like, you're never really gonna play it exactly like she does because she's just doing a lot of weird stuff, moving her hands around all the time, but this will get you close enough. So you're gonna start up with that C, just palm muting it. And then you're going to open it up a little bit. You're gonna do a hammer on on the D string on the second fret and immediately hit that open G. And then you're going to hit that G string a couple times, three times. Hammer on on the G string second fret and hammer off into the open again. Then you're going to hammer on on that second fret A string, uh, D string again, open. Then you're going to transition to that F chord. And you're going to finish up with um, just kind of going back and forth between the F chord and then the D string being open. So so all together that's going to sound like I'm going to get closer to the camera and do that slow so you can see my hands. All right, here's that really slow. again slow so you could see my right hand. So in the beginning, she does that riff once and then um, does this maneuver where you fluctuate between the F chord and lifting that pinky up twice. Before going into the first verse, which starts on C. Like a dog tugging on a rope, F. I don't even know where I'd go. So 
Um, she's doing a lot of hammer runs and pull offs and all that stuff. But like I said, that's something you're never going to figure out unless you just listen. Um, the one that I do hear her do is sometimes she does this where she kind of walks down from the F to the C chord. You could throw that in there. So just to show you where that part happens, it's in, be in between like the first part of the verse and the second part of the verse, um, of the first verse. It's like, uh, they put up a chain link fence. Now there's nothing I can do but bark my head off. Like right there. And then she goes right into the next part of the verse. But I'm not fucking playing. I got these teeth for reason. I know that it's like for death. I can't forget it. Um, so after that verse, it goes back to the instrumental uh, little riff from the beginning of the song, but this time in the recording, it's the violin playing it. And uh, Bo, the violin player, they just play through um, the main riff twice without going to this. They, uh, they don't really do that. Uh, so it sounds like this, if you wanna play along and have it sound like the record. So the next verse starts out with that C chord again, but we're going to ease up on the strumming a bit and just let it ring for the first part. The winter passes, my jaw clenches, the fruits outside my window to open up. Here's a little zoom in of the hammer on maneuver between the first and the C and the F chord. It's kind of the same thing that uh, she's doing in the intro. The winter passes, my jaw clenches. So watch the right hand too. The winter passes, my jaw clenches. The friends outside my window learn to open up. And there are things in life that you're made to run away from, but it's not your something for your grief any other kind of love. Hold on to the ba da da ba da ba da I don't know the words, okay. Well, I want self-despair, now I feel free. Um, now for this next part, and then through the whole end of the song, you're just playing the C and the F chord, and you're kind of, I mean, palm muting or whatever you want to do. Put my trust in broken bell crates underneath the trestle by the vet's hall. Call for help and more call. Find your mouth under the blanket. This may be the last thing that can taste. Country do its in inhalants. No job, no place to get away from. I've been to a world worth living in. No rent, no lies to memorize. No fucked up world to drown out. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's the song. Um, it's a little more nuanced than just the chord chart. I am going to post a chord chart on Ultimate Guitar. And as soon as it's approved, I'm going to post it as a description in the video so you could refer to that for the structure of the song um, and so that you could read the words while you sing along. Um, I learned how to play this by ear, but also I did text loans and like send her videos and I watched her hands a lot to try to figure out what she was doing. And she did confirm that I'm mostly doing it right. So um, unless you get it from her, this is as close as you're going to get. Uh, make sure you video your covers because I want to see them. It's my favorite song. Have a good day.